My name's Derek Hullinger. I have a PhD in physics, and I'm going to explain how to find the angle of elevation of the sun using a shadow. So let's say the sun is shining on some beautiful day. And let's say here's the ground right here. And maybe you've got a fence post right here. And let's say that you take out a ruler, and you find out that that fence post is three feet tall. And you take out another ruler. Well, before we talk about the shadow, actually, where would the shadow fall? Well, it's pretty easy to figure that out. You just draw a line from the sun across the top of the fence post all the way to the ground like that. So in this case, that's how long the shadow would be. So let's say that um, that shadow was maybe two feet long at a certain time of day. The angle of elevation of the sun, in this case, is just this angle right here. Let's call that theta. Well, we could also draw that angle right here if we wanted to. It's the same angle. And you notice that this is a right triangle here. And we can actually figure out what that angle is based on how tall this fence post is and how long its shadow is. If you remember from trigonometry, the tangent of an angle is equal to the length of the side opposite the angle. So in this case, that's 3, divided by the length of the side next to the angle. So in this case, that's 2. So the tangent of this angle is 3 halves, or 1.5. So, so to figure out what that angle is, you use something called an arc tangent or an inverse tangent. So the way we would write that on paper is just that the angle equals the arc tangent of 1.5. And most calculators, especially scientific calculators, have a little ATAN button. That's an arc tangent button. Or sometimes the button will say tan minus 1. It's the same thing. So all you do is you type in 1.5, and then you hit that button, and it tells you what that angle is. So if we went ahead and did that in this case with the 3 and the 2, we'd find out that that angle is 56.3 degrees. Now, suppose you punch this into your calculator, and instead of getting a number like this, 56.3, you get a number 0.983. That just means that your calculator is in radians mode, so it's giving you that angle in radians instead of the angle in degrees. So when you hit that arc tangent button, you want to make sure your calculator is in whichever mode you want the answer in.